Hello everyone, my name is John and today I'll be revising four different screen capturing programs. I'll be giving you a brief description of each one along with the advantages and disadvantages, a comparison plus my opinion on each software and lastly how each one can benefit you and the user. The four programs I'll be reviewing are Jing, Cam Studio, BB Flash Express and QuickTime Pro. First I'll review the software called BB Flashback Express. Flashback Express is a very easy capturing program that uses a countdown to say when the recorder has begun. As you can see I'm recording with just a click of a button. It records in both AVI and SW formats which can be both be used to view, the, view a video. The videos can be uploaded to the internet using an AVI format and upload it to a web page, a personal one or an outside source depending on what the user wants. The, the only disadvantage of this is the BB Flashback Express has an editor but in order for you to edit the video while using the program you would have to buy the full license for it and that could be quite expensive. This, this would be very useful for teachers who wish to make their own videos and share it with other people but in order for this program to work the teachers would have to install it and due to the administration which teachers can't install it on their computer at college but can be installed on a computer they own. Next we're going to be talking about Jing. Jing works a bit different than BB Flash Express because of that is there's a little icon at the top and if you click on capture you can drag across how big you want it so you can have just a little box or a big box up to you after then you can that little icon on the bottom left will appear it will allow you to capture and capture the video and capture an image while recording um, there's the website for it as well the advantages of Jing is that it's easy to, for old computers to run it's good for short videos and it's easy to use and it's a program that's free to download Unfortunately, the disadvantages are it doesn't have many features. Is a five the limit of the video is five minutes, and, the, and it does not record an AVI format, which could put a lot of people off if they're expecting it to put it on YouTube or a web page. It is a good program for teachers to make short videos, but like I said, it does require the author, the administration password to install it, and Zenworks does not have it. The third program I'll be reviewing is a program called Cam Studio. Cam Studio is a free, easy program to use and features that follow best practice in design by offering quick and reliable clear out functions. It works by just there's a little box you just click on the record button and it will record. You can choose how, how big you want it, you can choose it to pick up the whole screen or as much as you want. Once you click on that, it will, you, it will just click on record and it will start recording the video for you. It's quite easy. Um, first, the disadvantages of Cam Studio is that it doesn't work with, well with a laptop. It causes it to go a bit weird. And if a video is more than 10 minutes long, a, f a file creation error couldn't cure. And this doesn't have any video software built in. The advantages of it is that it, you can pause it mid, mid through the middle of the video and record. It's really up to you. It's a very good recording software, straightforward, and it can be used by teachers. And it's, can, it's already installed onto Zenworks. QuickTime 7 is the last screen capturing program that I'm going to be reviewing. This application works the same way as any other screen capturing application. Just click record and it will record the program for you. It will record the whole of the screen, regardless of how big you want it. Um, it can be when you save it, it will be saved to any format the user wishes. There's adva the advantage of it is that it's e very quite easy to use, and not many users have problems with it. There are two downsides of of the application is that first is that the application will only work on Mac 
Microsoft, sorry, Mac operating systems. And second, in order for you to get the full version, you're going to have to pay $20.99 for the Pro. And that's the only way for users to record their programs, I mean their videos. Um, from what I've researched, I'm better off just, you people are better off going with either Cam Studio or BB Flashback Recorder. Both are very good. Personally, I would use Flashback Recorder, but if you're in college, because of um, Barnet College have Zenworks Cam Studios on it, and it's a quite a good recording software. Regardless, because it is on a computer screen, you can use it. Thank you for listening. Um, there's a little table of a few bit of my research and what I found to be better. Thank you for listening.